Listening to the praise and worship song um, set me on fire from the inside. It brings up these scriptures that I had shared with Sammy on Pops like a couple weeks ago when I was studying, and, and God had revealed to me. Um, he said, This is, I believe, this is in Psalms, I believe. Um, he says, He make he makes, he maketh his um, he maketh his uh um, angel spirits mm-hmm. and his ministers a flame of fire. Mm-hmm. That was like, hmm. But then, Revelation, John the Baptist said, He who is mightier than I uh, will come, I'm paraphrasing, will come um, and baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Mm-hmm. I said, Wow. Mm-hmm. And then God said, but why do you think? Why do you think I make my ministers a flame of fire? Why do you think I'm going to baptize you with fire? Because God is a consuming fire. So what God was showing me is, if you're going to be my son, I have to make you as I am. So when I was when I was listening to the song, set me on fire, and we decreeing like God set me on fire. We're like. God, make me like you because you are a consuming fire. I want to be just like you. I want to be holy. I want to be righteous. I want to be just like you. Your character, your conduct. Jesus. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Okay. And they said, I want you to stop for just a second. Amen. Jesus. It says when he came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he he asked the disciples a specific question. Okay. And the specific question that he asked was who do men say that I, the son of man, am? Okay. This is this is an important statement right now because we tend to ask that question or we see that that statement being stated or answered every day, practically every day of our life, without even knowing it. I said it again. You practically see an individual or you even answer that question yourself every single day of your life. Wow. He asked a question. Now you the, the talk I call the talk of the town. People was always saying something about me. Okay. Who but who do they say that I am? Right now. You have a society that is labeling Jesus to be all types of things. As we know that the word Christian means what? Christ-like. Christ-like. Amen. 
or also known as follower of Christ. Amen. Uh, but to be Christ-like, you have to know what Christ is like. Amen. Amen. So it's important because sis, let me let me put it this way. When he says to him, who do men say that I am? I'm a Christian. But if you're a Christian, you are saying that Jesus is like, or you are like Jesus. So the actions that you are taking, the action that you do, are that of Christ. So to say that a statement or ask a question, who do men say that I am? A lot of times, well, all the time, in a Christian perspective, you should ought to be able to look at a person right, right, right. and be able to tell who, who they think Christ is right. or who you think Christ is right. by what? Your actions. Yeah. If you're a Christian, mm -hmm. are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. All right. So, but people have many different interpretations of Jesus, as we should see in the next couple of verses. Please read. And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some say you are John the Baptist. Some Elias. Elias. And others, Jeremiah is one of the prophets. Or Jeremiah. Or another one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Okay. So we'll back up a little bit. So remember, they are given descriptions. So people are talking about Jesus. Because right. he said, They say mm -hmm. that you are John the Baptist, Elias. And Jeremiah or another prophet. Okay. So evidently, watch this. They don't know who Jesus is. Because Jesus says, none of those. Mm -hmm. Wow. I can tell you this. At this point in time, Jesus is walking the earth. Sure. And so they have the opportunity of knowing who Jesus is themselves. But they are they are making guesses, they're making assumptions of who Jesus is. Sometimes they perhaps making assumptions. Word of mouth. Well, such as I say he's John the Baptist. And, oh, okay, he must be John the Baptist. So they take that word of mouth and they continue to talk about it. Oh, he's a liar. And oh, he's a liar. And then everybody's praying, oh, he's a liar, he's a liar. And so that's it. Sometimes how word of mouth gets things all mixed up. Are you with me? So, then Jesus makes a statement. Okay. Now, we're getting somewhere. How many, how many of you all, let me ask this before, before I go into this, but how many of you all made an assumption of a person based off of what somebody else said? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really, really felt a certain way about a person based off of what somebody else said about that person. Come on. Everybody hear people laughing and everything. Y'all know y'all did it before. I can't stand her. She thinks she knows everything, or she thinks she's this, she thinks she's that. Mm -hmm. And so they, they have been uh, the other person, well, I can't say she thinks she she thinks she that, she thinks she not even know this person at all. Right. But they already have their perception, their own perception in their mind of who this person is and what this person is about, based off of what somebody else said. Are y'all with me? Yeah. So we see here, he's asking, now who do they say that I am? And it's important because sometimes the people that could be following Jesus at this point, they have the wrong, wrong interpretation yeah. of who Jesus is. Even though they're walking with Christ, doesn't necessarily mean that they're walking with Christ. Right, 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 right. Are y'all with me? Yeah. So what's important, watch this, in order for the next statement, to be answered or the next question to be answered. You'll see. Jesus asked his disciples then. And let me say this. Let me use you for an example. Who do you say that Jesus is? <laughs> I want y'all to think about that, especially when you say you are Christ like. And, and you are supposed to carry on the, like uh, Will said earlier, uh, the mind of Jesus Christ. He said, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. That's what the word says. Well, what mind of Jesus do you have? Yeah. That depends on what Jesus you have. Wow. Some people have the wrong Jesus. Sure. Mm. 
I'm going to say that again. Some people have the wrong Jesus, which explains why the church is in the condition that it's in right now. And let me, let me rephrase this, because some people will say that I ain't in no church, but I'm a Christian. That's another wrong interpretation of what Christian is. The church is the body of Christ, so you have to be in church if you are a Christian. Everybody will make their own rules. And they say it with confidence. Folks say, say it with confidence too. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. <laughs> this is not how Jesus. Well, well you, you, you may be a, a, a certain type, your own kind of new brand of Christian, which ain't no brand of Christian. But you make your own Jesus, which explains why you're saying you're Christ like. Because you're acting like your Christ, yeah. not mine. Yeah. So Jesus asked the question, who do you say that I am? What happens next? And Simon Peter answered. Oh, Simon Peter answered. And said, thou art the Christ, the Listen, son of the living God. That's a huge difference than those other two answers, or three answers, or four answers that he gave in, in the previous verse. You are the Christ, the Christ, the Christ. Not of Christ, but the Christ. The Christ, the, not a, but the son of who? The living God. The living God. I have to get this somebody. Now, this statement that Peter made was a powerful statement. Let me say this. Well, read verse 17. It's as powerful. I'm, I'm taking how powerful it was. And Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon. He called him blessed. Mm. Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, and flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee. Okay. Blessed are you, Simon. For. Flesh and what? Blood uh -huh. hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And let me explain this to you, children of God. In order to have the right Jesus, God is going to have to reveal that to you. I'm going to say that again. In order to have the right Jesus, God is going to have to reveal that to you. And you know how he now with that you know he reveals this to you. This right here, his word. People don't, don't even read the Bible, know the Bible will tell you who Jesus is. They don't lost. Listen, y'all listen to those folks y'all want to. They have you all backwards. But Jesus said that no flesh and blood has revealed this to you. No man has given this to you. Only God the Father has given this to you. Y'all, we're going to the wrong sources for answers. We're going to the wrong sources for answers. Understand this. Life, well, please ask the third chapter talks about uh, there's a time for everything. It's a time to be born. I mean, there's a time to laugh. There's a time to cry. Watch this. It's a time to be born. There's a time to what? Die. To die. Now in today's society, they don't believe that there is a judgment <laughs> after death. That uh, oh, This is what the word of God says. So you know who Jesus is. You know that Jesus says this in his word. There is standards that Jesus has. Mm -hmm. If you know Jesus, then you know these standards. You, you get to like you get to know a, a Christian, a real Christian, by uh, their fruits. Yeah, Folks that say a lot of good stuff, but their fruits is not in line with the word of God. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, and we had this good conversation on we had a good conversation. Uh, some would say they're in Christ. Um, the babies 
grow up. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, you have. Let, let me let me say that. I said some will say they are babes in Christ. Here's 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 the problem with that. For those uh, that that say that they are babes in Christ, if you are, if you hear the word of God and you don't act on the word of God, that does not make you a babe in Christ. In those particular situations, that makes it you being disobedient, being hard headed, and, and being selfish, self righteous, wanting to do things your way. That's not being immature. Let me let me say this: God has a God has a way of helping those who are stuck. I say I said it again. I say God has a way of helping those that are stubborn. You, you give a little pat on the behind. They get the, okay, you know, they probably feel, but they get they stuff together. Sometimes. But when you know Jesus Christ, you want to do things right. this way. Right, right. You know that things are not, uh, they don't even feel right. I'm talking about the children of God. When you disobey God, you know the word of God, it doesn't even feel right. Are y'all with me? Yes. He says, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but it has to come from my Father. Then let me say this. Verse number 18 says, what? And I say also and unto thee. I say also unto thee. That thou art Peter. He said that art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church. Come on. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against thee. Come on. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Now listen, the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Keep going. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth uh-huh. shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Can I say this? This right here, the statement that Jesus is making is not just specifically for Peter. The foundation of the church being built on this rock is there for Peter. But this this giving the keys of, of, of the kingdom. That's not just for, for uh, yeah. Peter. Yeah. That's for those who, who know who Jesus is. Right. Those who those who believe in Jesus. Now, here's, here's, here's the, t- the deal. Now, let me explain this to you all that don't know. Knowing who Jesus is and believing in Jesus can be two different things. Yeah. Can I explain that again? Yes, sir. I said, knowing who Jesus is and believing in Jesus can be two different things. Knowing who Jesus is. Jesus was the son of God. He walked on the earth for 33 years. He was born by the Virgin Mary. He died on the cross for our sins. He rose three days and he's in heaven. That's a good story. I believe it. So that means I know who Jesus is. Y'all know about the story. But do that means I believe in Jesus. That doesn't necessarily mean you believe in Jesus. When you believe in Jesus, now here's the deal. When you believe in Jesus, you're saying, okay, Jesus, I'm going to follow you. Your way. I'm going to live the life that you called me to, or you told me to live. Call me, won't birth me. Everything you told me to do while you're on earth, I'm been going to do it your way. I understand that I have my own feelings, I have my own will, I have all that stuff, but I choose yours. Yes. Believing in Jesus. You got that? Yeah. So you have you have people that, that will say good stuff and, and speak of the talk of good game, but their life does not reflect the belief. That's right. Mm-hmm. And so that that Right there, you all has not had, in that immature that some of us may still be immature. Would you want? Because I'm going to say, let me say this. When I say immature, that means I can argue you stubborn. However you want to put it. Would you want um, Jesus blessing on your life? You will do things his way. Can I say that? Not just on your life here, because he said, "What you bound here on heaven, in earth, you bound in what? And what you loose on earth, you what? Loose it. 
Okay, so you understand what you're doing down here affects what you do up there. And we got that. Is that what he says? Okay. So, watch this. Can we skip to verse number 20, 22? Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord. This shall not be unto thee. Okay, now, gee, why is Peter rebuking Jesus? He, in this instance, is Jesus. He just told he just told Jesus that Jesus, you are the Son of God. But now you're saying you talking all this stuff that you're gonna die and all this stuff, they'll get you and all this. No, Jesus, no, Jesus. He started rebuking Jesus. And then verse 23 says what? But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. He called, he told Peter. He told Peter to just claim that he was the Son of God. To get thee behind me, who? He was being utilized by the devil right here. Y'all, are y'all reading that? Okay. But sometimes, listen, sometimes we get things twisted. We, we, we sometimes don't understand how, and let me, let me tell you about Jesus, because this is, this is good. Let me tell you about Jesus. When they talk about Jesus as a, 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 a son of God that is all about love. He, he can care less what you do because he died on the, on the cross for your sins. Do y'all see what Jesus did here? Yeah. Jesus showed up. He checked him. Yeah. People now they don't believe Jesus checked folks. You think that you want to be his son and, and follow him, but he's not gonna tell you what's right and what's wrong? You don't know you don't got the right Jesus. Yeah, right. You know, I'm sorry, you don't have the right no. Jesus. Your Jesus ain't gonna correct you when you're wrong. No. You got the wrong Jesus. Then Jesus says, "Wait a minute, homeboy. That's the spirit of the devil." Right there. Wow. And he told the devil to get. And what he say? Get thee behind me. Come on, he told. Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art what? Thou art an offense unto me. Come. And, and you know what? Here's the problem. We we don't even think that we offend God. Right. We think that we can win everything for, uh, for for the benefit of the guy. We could be just trying to tear it down at the same time. We put one brick up, you, you take it five of them back. Ain't that crazy? So why, why are you standing in front of me, Peter? And then it got them. This was the, the part about this was so unique. These things happen simultaneously. The rock, the devil. God revealed this to you, the devil's using you. Just like that. What does he say next? For thou savorest not the things that be of God, Listen. but those that be of men. Man, here we go. Because he right now, because he talked about flesh and blood didn't tell you who I was. But right now you are operating in flesh. Right, 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 right. You understand me? Right. We have listen, we have to understand this thing, distinguish the two. When we are acting Christ-like, or we are acting against Christ. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, God, y'all, I'm, t- I'm telling you, it is so easily done. And some folks are proud of that stuff. Some folks are proud to be uh, 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 having a devil in them and saying claiming Christianity. Who who is happy with that? To be a, 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 a and I'm gonna tell you the truth. You can't serve two masters. I, but to, to, to some, they, they let me say, I see this up. To some, sometimes we think it's possible. I ain't gonna even say some outside, but sometimes we think it's possible to serve two masters. Yeah. And we cannot serve two masters, y'all. You know what? That's something that I can tell that God hates. Mm. He hates. He hates the devil. Do y'all know that? Yes. Yes. But he loves his babies. Let me just say that. He made me a little Lord and angels. But he, he loves his babies. How? You know what hurt me? And it does hurt me. When my babies disobey me. Yeah. Oh, dang. Let, 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 me, let me say it like this. When I know that I'm telling them what's right. When I know I'm telling them what's beneficial to them. 
and they go the opposite direction. That hurts. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. Imagine how we do our Father. He's taking good care of us. He's provided for us. Jesus was with some people that he was taking care of. They weren't eating, but they was following. He was healing them. He was taking care of their, all their needs. And I, what? You want to serve the enemy? So, church, imagine. I'm just saying this. I'm going to sum, sum this up. You, you imagine claiming to know Jesus and all the benefits that you have had with Jesus. Y'all got that? Everybody gave good testimonies. How, how beneficial it is to be a servant of God, a child of God. He's good. He's good. And we speak begin to rate things based off of based off of what benefits us. Jay got a good it was a good testimony he gave. Because sometimes we get so selfish and, and we only think about ourselves instead of thinking about the big picture. Yeah. And that are y'all listening? Yeah. You have to be. Jesus was not a selfish person. Yeah. He's still not a selfish spirit. So you got that? Mm-hmm. Jesus loved, and he 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 he, he had patience. He was kind. You know the, the characteristics of Jesus yeah. Christ. We ought to have those same characteristics ourselves. Not saying this. But when does the church step up, Christians, and stand for righteousness? Yeah. Yeah. What does the church stand up for righteousness? Yeah. If, if if we are in sin ourselves or see our brother or the sisters in sin, when do we not say anything? Yeah. Can I say this? Do we love that? That, that, that goes back to the question. I, I know Jesus loved Peter. Yeah. Did he not love Peter? Yeah. Did, did, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. You know Jesus loved Peter? Yeah. You know what I think look, folks want, want to do? And that's a, that's a given. Folks want to live the way that they want to live, even if it contradicts God and nobody says anything. Yeah. Do you know what they look for? They look for more support in their wrong. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. We look for more support in our wrong. Yeah. And then we have the nerve to call three or four people to get different opinions. Yeah. We're hoping somebody's gonna buy into what yeah. we what we feel. Yeah. Oh y'all with me? Yeah. Let me say it again. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call Mama J, Assistant Janice, and ask her opinion about this. If I don't like her answer, if I don't agree with me, I'm gonna call Sister Carlita. If I don't like what she says, I'm gonna call Jada. Then I found one. That's all I need. Mm-hmm. You agree with what I'm saying, Jada? Man, check this in. Right, don't call Jada. I know. It was the wrong example. <laughs> But my, my, my point is that we are looking for people to, to and I'm going to say this, uh, uh, to validate, thank you, sir, to validate our 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 words and our, our thoughts. But if it contradicts the word of God, listen, hold truth, I'm going to say this, I'm going to stand on this. I don't care who you are. We are going to live holy in this church. That's right, come on. We are going to hold each other accountable. Yes, yeah. sir. Listen, I don't care what circumstances have changed. I'm going to be honest. Even last night, we was buying firecracker. Bless the Lord. I spent a little money change on the fireworks. I had a little time time out there. They came. I know they were state recorded last night. Praise God for our media team. Yeah. They, they, oh, my God. On the 4th of July, they was out here doing kingdom business. They shut it down. It was still daylight when they, when they start doing. And, and they get here till, till, till after midnight or almost at midnight. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. On 4th of July. Anyway. But I was like, oh my God. See y'all, y'all sure y'all want to do this? Yeah, right. Yeah, we like, oh, God, okay. okay, bless you. So they did it. So I was like, oh, I'm going to fireworks. So I got the fireworks. And, and Jay, well, no, you know, they saw the fireworks. We did it. Yeah, we could time outside. And then Janice, party pooper, <laughs> comes out, out to the, the, the door. <laughs> you know. Is this we supposed to know? Miranda said it first. Yeah. He, Miranda said, said it first. Show you. She said, No, the paper says. <laughs> That's right, baby. <laughs> said, like, Miranda. You know, the paper says. <laughs> <laughs> the rules are it's documented in 504. So <laughs> the appropriate time to be a You should stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Anyway. I'm like, man, no, we just been on the other Two minutes. I keep going till I give you these bars. 
Who needed the cheese when this lady come down and said, that, hey, you know, something about works. I think at that point, when somebody says something about living holy, who said that? I did. I said, we got hope to live. Sure did. Sure did. Sister Warwick says, we live holy. And what can you say against that? I know you can't say that. What can you say? That's why I tell you, hey, listen, y'all start talking about, y'all start speaking, speaking the word of God. <laughs> it shuts it down. It should. That's right. Yeah. I, I said, when you start speaking the word of God and somebody's in there at fault, and you a child of God, it ought to change something. Yeah. All right, time to go. Wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Should be our answer. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But here's what I'm, I'm getting this thing proof, y'all. Yeah. Bro, the flesh is wanting to fire and fire stuff up. Mm-hmm. But the word of God says, stop. Wow. You are holy people. Yeah. Are y'all getting me? Yeah. yeah. So whole truth ministries, I'm telling y'all, and those of you are this ain't just confined to I'm just the pastor of the whole truth ministry. But Jesus is our Lord. Right. And whatever Jesus said should go. That's it, everybody. Amen. Whatever Jesus Christ said should go. Right. Our word should be Amen. 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 So let us encourage one another. Amen. And when we when we have these questions about let me, let me say this. I gotta say this. Because sometimes it's not even a question about who Jesus is. Because sometimes you can, the answer to Jesus is right here. Sometimes you need to question who you are. Oh, oh, man, I say Come that. That's good. Are y'all with me? Come on. So as you carry, and you know what? Some people may hear this message and say, I don't want to be a Christian no more. That's so, that's folks, that's so, folks are so crazy nowadays. Yeah. They were they were the brethren denounced Christianity to get their own way to please the flesh. They don't know how dangerous it is. Because I'm telling you, sooner or later, and I, much sooner than what you think, a time will come when you have to give an answer or you have to see Jesus Christ face to face. And and my question to you wasn't really worth it. Oh my goodness. Was it really worth it? Some things we think is okay. I, I realize, I, and I say this, God, thank you. I realize the things that I have in my possession will be in somebody else's possession one day. Yeah. The money that's in the account will be in somebody else's name or somebody, or I spend it still. Somebody's going to be gone. I can't take it with me. Yeah. I understand that. So what he says about what you bind it in heaven and what you loose in heaven, that's what we need to be focusing on. Yeah. Do you believe who Jesus is? Wow. Ooh, 